Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we want to find a formula for the nth term of the sequence 40, 38, 36, 34 and moving forward. In the previous, in the slide, we have understood that <clears throat> if um, the first row of difference is constant and equals to a, then the formula for the nth term will be given by the formula a n plus b. Only when the first row is common, please note that, then any term that fits in that sequence is given by a n plus b, where a is a constant different, is actually the constants different in the first row. For example, we have 40, we have 38, we have 36, and we have 34. The common difference here is term 2 minus term 1, time 3 minus term 2, or term 4 minus term 3. So if we get that one, subtracting that, which is actually common throughout, that subtracting that, and that subtracting that. To get the common difference, you can clearly see that our A is equals to negative 2, because 38 minus 40 is negative 2, 36 minus 38 is negative 2, 34 minus 36 is negative 2. Where N is now the position of the term. For example, if you are going to use 40, then n is 1, because 40 is the first term of the sequence. If you are going to use 38, then you are going to use n being equals to 2, because 38 is in the second position of the sequence. Here, n is going to be 3, and if you are going to use 38, n is going to be just 4, because 34 is in the fourth position, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's actually the fourth term. So n is actually is the position, and we have highlighted there. It is the position. What about b? b is another constant that has to be found through evaluation. So let's go. The formula is a n plus b, and our a is negative 2. If we use 40, then we are going to say negative 2 times n, 1, plus b is equals to is equals to 40. We have used now uh, 40 and that is why our n is 1 because 40 is in the first position. It goes without saying that we are saying that um, minus 2 plus b is equals to 40 and therefore b is equals to 40 plus 2 which is 42. So the formula now becomes uh, term n because um, uh, 42 is a constant. A is the common difference. And N is the position. N will keep changing. N will keep changing. Minus 2 is going to maintain, is not going to change. And 42 is a constant. So the general formula of the nth term is 42 minus 2N. Or rather, you can even write it in terms of minus 2n plus 42. But you can get 42. If you just started with um, b, which is 42 minus 2n, that is the formula. Alternatively, we can just use another, another term, not just 40. And we can have minus 2. Let's use position 3 here, that is 6, which is n is 3. Is, should give us 36 minus 6 plus, or, or th there's a plus b here, there's a plus b there, please note there's a plus b there, minus 6 plus b is equals to 36, and as you can see, b is equals to 36 plus 6, which is 42, and generally, the term n can be given with minus 2n plus 42. 
and because it's not it doesn't look good when we are starting a statement with a negative sign we can easily see that the term n is 42 minus 2n which is just what we realized earlier and that is just like it so keep watching let us keep explaining the whole of this book thank you